So I'm a big fan of cinema. Godard used to say cinema is truth 24 times per second. Now cinema is a technology of immersion that allows us to lose ourselves. It's a portal to another world. Cinema trades in subjectivities. Now, Cinema only works through a phenomenon known as the dyictic shift. The dyictic shift is the point in which the viewer assumes the viewpoint of the character. And at that moment, you get into the world as world. You enter the dream. Inception happens. Now, this dyictic shift is associated with diminished activity in the lateral prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for your sense of body awareness, of self-awareness. So you literally assume a viewpoint of the character Mentally, you start living vicariously through that character and you forget your body. That is the moment in which we trade in subjectivity. You become someone else. And the catharsis, you get to have that hero's journey. And that's one of the most intoxicating, delicious things ever. Now imagine this, this hunger for this kind of immersion and how it might catalyze these new emerging technologies of virtual reality. You know, what happens when you move into a world like the 1998 movie Strange Days, when you were literally wire tripping? You were jacked in. This isn't TV only better, but this is a piece of somebody's life. The trailer of that movie was like, I am your priest, I am your shrink, I am your main connection to the switchboard of souls. Cinema, media becomes the Santa Claus of the subconscious. You say it, you even think it, you could have it. It certainly says something about what it means to be human, our desire to, to experience intersubjectivity, to see the world through the eyes of others, but it's fascinating nonetheless. I'm not judging, I just think it's uh, that's who we are.